Hey everyone, Ham here. Today I'm doing something a little bit different and I thought I'd show you a game that I've not played for a while and that's VTOL VR. The reason I'm going to show it to you is because there's been a recent update and that's the introduction of the attack helicopter which I'm sat in right now. So while doing this video I'll give you a quick tour of the cockpit. Yes, I said it. And I'll show you some of the instruments, uh, give you the basics so you can take off and use this. And if you want to see a longer version of this, uh, of the gameplay, go check out my Twitch channel, which is twitch.tv forward slash hamvr. I've got my uh, longer streams on there, so I'll probably be playing more of that on Twitch. All right, enough of the waffle. Let's get down to the basic training. Okay, first thing we'll want to do is get the main battery on and the APU on, so the auxiliary power unit. That keeps the battery charged up until the engines are turned on. And we want to start turning screens on. Now we're on. And I flick the stat mode, that gives you a good indicator on the engines in a minute. Radar, so first of all, you need to do one engine at a time, which is quite important. And we should start to hear the engine uh, fire up. Tend to then move the throttle up to idle mode. And this is totally the correct sequence, but this is what I've been doing so far. And then whilst that's spinning up, you go to navigation, and then the objectives button's here, so when you're doing the tutorials, uh, you can navigate to the first objective, set a waypoint, and it'll plot a course to uh, where you need to go to. I got the left engine on, we've got to put the right engine on now. Altitude meter on. So if you're on arm weapons, we've got arm and safe here. We've got interior lights here if you're doing any night flights. We'll put on the uh, power for the um, heads up display. On the right side here we've mostly got comms. You won't be needing jettison if you need to jettison any of your weapons. MP3 player if you've got some music you want to play. I think that's covered most of the stuff for startup. So we've now got both engines are on and in the green, so we'll just close up. Right. You can of course have uh, two people fly this aircraft, so I'm in the pilot seat. That's the gunner seat, so you can switch seats here. I've not actually used this section before, so I'll switch back to the pilot seat. There's some adjustment on the right controls here. So if you click auto, you can now move this freely to a comfortable position. I tend to have the controls sat on my knee, on my thigh, and turn it off there. Um, right, I think we're good to uh, get the engines turned up higher. So what you need to do next is turn off the rotor brake. So that'll get the blade spinning. And if you're wondering about your engines, you can also check the RPM here. Both of these needles should be up. If one of them's down, it means you've got one of your engines hasn't uh, started up. So just keep an eye on that because I crashed a few times at first because I was trying to take off with one engine active. Throttle it up to flight. Now, the important thing to notice are in settings, I've turned on the um, help information on the controls, so I advise you to do that if you've never flown this before, just to help you remember what's what. So, on the right stick, you can control the fire and the weapon selection, but also the aircraft trim, so that allows you to make fine adjustments to the aircraft. Uh, I believe it's just pitch and roll trim. And then on the left hand side, there's two uh, throttle controls, uh, or uh, collectives, I guess. Uh, so we've got one for flight and one for combat. So for flight control, that's what we're going to use now. So we're all throttled up. Now we're up to speed. We can turn the APU off, save a bit of fuel. That is off, I think. Now it's off. Right, so we should be good to go. So. I'll just take off a little bit. And now we're in the air. I'll 
to switch cameras so you can get a better view of what's going on outside the aircraft. thing to do before we're, we're ready to fly is the landing gear which is on the left here so we'll put that up okay so there's a lot of information on the, the hood but the things I'll focus on are uh, the bottom right corner so I'll try and make it a bit brighter yeah it's much more brightness so in the bottom right corner you'll see a little box and as I twist control there, you can see that's for uh, your control, forwards, back, left and right. So with the uh, thumbstick, so I'm not using the Quest 2 at the minute, using the thumbstick, we can move the little white, the uh, green circle around and that trim. So if I pull this back, that'll put backwards trim, that'll make us uh, point upwards. And we can move the circle forwards more pitch forward like that and also same for rolling left and rolling right now you can obviously do that yourself with the stick but that this using the thumb stick allows for minor adjustments on the left side uh, on the left collector should I say you've got your trim so using the thumb stick on the left you can move the little arrow at the top of the green box you can see that gives us our left right your control so that's it for basic flight operations. That should give you the basics on how to get off the ground if you're unfamiliar with this aircraft. So that's about it really, and I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget, if you enjoyed the video, give it the thumbs up and uh, check out my Twitch stream. All right, cheers, bye.